team, hope you're doing well. It's Starman here. Welcome back. In today's video, we are going to jump back into looking at some PWCC listed prices, fixed price, weekly price, and the Premier cards. Let's go and have a look at what has been listed on their site. There might be some tasty treats. Very expensive. Let's go have a look. If you're new to the channel as well, hit that subscribe button and make sure you give the video a like. It really helps. All right, let's jump into it. All right, guys, here we go. PWCC. We love it. It's all about the weekly auctions at the moment. So we're going to have a quick look at the weekly auctions. Have a look at what cards there are. At the moment, I've clicked on Pokemon English and Japanese. That's all I'm interested in. If you love comics, video games, soccer, other sports, basketball, you click on the category and it'll come up. Uh, and authenticators have gone with PSA, Beckett, SGC, and CGC. Usually, I just check at PSA and Beckett, but I thought we would give some love to SGC and CGC today. Um, to have a look at what's happening. So, same with this one. Here we go. The old CGC. Gengar. Oh my god. $3,300 for a Sky Ridge Hollow. It's crazy. Sky Ridge, the last Watsy set that came out in 03. It is a very appealing set. Alright, so, I'm going to jump straight into the Premier listings, guys. Let's have a look. What have we got here? Oh! Only three listed in the Premier at the moment usually there's a lot more wow okay let's have a look so the most expensive one listed on the premiere section at the moment is the japanese shining magic up oh my goodness it's the fan club shining magic up it's a psa 10 oh my goodness look at this look at this current bid at 2300 dollars extended bidding will start in six days so yeah you, you can currently bid on here Oh my goodness. So this was, and it says here, initially released as part of the Japanese Awakening Legends expansion. This promo version was available to Pokemon card fun, uh, fan club players who earned 600 get points from 01 May to December 2002. Points could be earned by playing in tournaments and competing other officially sanctioned tasks. Yeah, wow, that's crazy. So you had to get the get points. I think I did a video on that a little while ago, uh, a while back actually. That's nuts. So there wouldn't be too many people with with one of these bad boys, especially in a ten. I'd love to know what the population is. Is there a pop? Is there a pop on here? Does it say? No, I don't think so. This is one of only nineteen to earn a PSA. There you go. Has graded two hundred thirty-three. So there's two hundred thirty-three of them, and there's nineteen that have gotten a PSA ten. That's nuts. Love it. So first one off the bat. Then we've got the 99. Ooh, unlimited. 99 Charizard Hollow. It is a Gem Mint 10 PSA. But there's a signature on it. What have we got here? Wow. So Arita. That's a, a Michihiro Arita signature apparently. That's crazy. So it's just over $1,000 at the moment for this bad boy. The OG bad boy. I love it. That's so cool. All right, and our final one for the Premier section, we've got a Japanese Venusaur. Let's have a look. Is it a Beckett? Didn't quite see it. Yep, it is a Beckett 9.5. Oh, my goodness. Centering 9, edges 9.5, corners 10, surface 9.5. Damn. So close to being none graded higher. What? Really? One of seven, none graded higher. Okay. Yeah, crazy. That is beautiful. It's a uh, absolutely beautiful card. Look at that. Magnificent. Look at the hollow on that bad boy. That is beautiful. Just over $1,000. Uh, it'll, it'll go for much more than that once people start getting onto it. All right. Uh, let's have a look at the weekly. There is fixed price cards as well. So people can list cards on here as a, as a fixed price um the weekly is bidding so you bid the the fixed price you, you there's a price set and you pay for it um there's a first edition zard here here we go beck at nine. Oh, we've got a gold star umbreon from the pop series five absolutely gorgeous six thousand dollars is the current bid guys that charizard's almost eight grand oh my goodness this umbreon is sexy though look at that 2007 pop series five gold star love it what a beautiful card, man. And I love that they brought that back um, with the uh, 25th anniversary as well. Very nostalgic. All right. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. 
Oh. It is a black label, guys. It is a pristine black label. BGS Rayquaza. It's the Japanese version. It's the VMAX. Oh my goodness. $4,100 current bid. That's going to go bunter. Extended bidding in two days, guys. So they're going to extend the bidding period for people to jump on. Uh, what else have we got here? There's such an, ass an assort. If you guys haven't been on this site before, go on there and have a look. There's an, a massive assortment of great variety of different cards from lots of different eras. Obviously, a lot of these are from 98, 99 to 03 at the moment. You got the cool tw uh, 2016 Pokemon Japanese promo there. There's the Poncho Pikachu. Absolutely gorgeous. $1,800. <clears throat> Oh, this is a fan favorite. This is a fan favorite. Team up. Guys, these booster booster boxes of team ups at the moment are ridiculously expensive. I think for a pack, is it 50 bucks a pack at the moment or more? Uh, I recently had a look and it was nuts. I could not believe that the team up booster boxes were so expensive. This was one of the most sought out after cards from the team up um, 2019 set. It's the Lady S and Lady Os GX. It's an absolute beauty. A gem mint PSA 10. That is gorgeous. 1500 at the moment. It'll probably go more than that. Um, my goodness. Yeah, what a set, guys. If um, yeah, I'll try and have a look. I think it was 50 bucks a pack, maybe more. Um, yeah, nuts. Absolutely nuts. Because uh, I think Team Up was a limited. It was a limited print run. They they. They released it, and they I don't think they did many print runs, or if any, I'm, I'm not sure, 100%, but I know there wasn't that many of them distributed, So, uh, and there was some sick cards in there. Oh my god, Gold Star Rayquaza, and we've got the old Gengar that went bunter a few years back as well. There it is, uh, Beckett 6, still $1,300 for, for a 6, guys. Crazy, man. 2005 EX Deoxys Holo Rayquaza Gold Star. That is something else. I wish I had that card. I have seen a gold, uh, a nine in that PSA nine. Uh, a friend of mine had it at a um, at a show. Very cool. Yeah, it's the 2021, the alt art, um, the Gengar V Max. This card was so popular around then, and people were going crazy for it. This is the Japanese version, obviously. Fourteen hundred dollars. That is nuts. Come on, come on. We've got the Blastoise, we've got another Pikachu there. And look guys, there's so many pages, I'm not going to go through all of them. Um, oh, that'll be a long video. There's the Sylveon, oh my goodness. Oh, is that the, yeah, the Shining Magikarp from Neo. Oh my goodness, $2,925 current bid. So the other one was a promo. This is the one from the, from the set. And this was reprinted as well in, for the 25th anniversary too, which was cool. Shiny Charizard, oh my goodness, $900. Tyranitar, oh, there's so many sick cards in here. Look at these cards, man. That is cool. What is this? What is this? A Japanese promo, 500 points, fan club. Okay, so earning those points, you got these, you got these special cards. I love that they do that. Very cool. Through SGC, it's a 10, 750 bucks. Nuts. Why wouldn't you go through PSA or Beckett, though? I wonder. I wonder if I did buy that, would I crack it and send it off through them? But it is a 10, so uh, don't know. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Dragon Frontier, man. First edition Holo Charizard. Gold Star, $725. Far out. Even banged up versions of this that get like a one or a two are expensive. Nuts. All right. Let's have a look. We'll go to page three, and then we'll have a look at some of the fixed cards that I uh, preloaded up the top there. Oh, man. Look at these guys. There's some really cool stuff here. 1998 Japanese promo holofoil. Black trade, please. Oh, it's autographed as well. Yeah, cool. Another Charizard. So many Charizards on here. Oh, that is cool. That is cool. The Prism. Um, there's a vending machine near me that has... Not this, but it does have the Bandai card ass prisms. Um, yeah, they were pretty expensive though. And I reckon there was a Charizard, red, the red and red and green one or something, which was pretty expensive. Oh, the Mew. Oh my goodness. Look at these cards, man. All right, let's have a look at some of the fixed prices. Now, I don't know if this is an accurate price of what it's actually worth. I have not looked the card up. 
I don't know what the last one sold for either. I'm not sure. Um, but this is a Plasma Storm Lugia. I love Lugia. I've, I'm actually collecting a few of them at the moment. PSA 10, 20, 20K. Buy now or make an offer. My goodness, $20,000 for that. I don't know if that's an accurate price. Oh, this is the one I was talking about. I reckon I saw this in a vending machine, I think, or it might have been a different version. But yeah, this is the Top Sun. Um, I've got a few of these Top Suns, not the Charizard. $25,000 for a PSA 9. That is nuts. Look at that. Blue and black, no number Charizard. It's crazy money. Oh, my goodness. Lugia Aquapolis. Aquapolis is such a great set. 20 k for this. PSA 10, Gem Mint. What a card, man. Let's have a little look. That is nuts. Look at that. Perfect condition. My goodness. And I love that little bit of... It's not a swirl, but you've got a bit of um, like cosmic cosmicness coming through the card there. Oh, hang on. There is a... Is that a... Yeah, there's a swirl up top right. Nice. That's sick. All right, this one. Base set holo, PSA 10, 14,400. I don't think, are they worth that much now? Because this is fixed price, people can put whatever price they want, I guess. Is that how much they're worth at the moment? I feel like that's excessive. If we go back to, uh, where was it? Like, this is a signed one and it's a PSA 10. It's signed by a reader. It's only at 1,000, so it could get it could get up there. But that one's 14,000. And then the weekly auctions for the Zards. Oh, it just reset me. God damn it. All right, let's see what comes up. Like, this is a first edition Beckett 9, and it's 7,750 at the moment for... Um, like, you know what I mean? And they're wanting 14400 Drop me a comment, guys. Is that is that what the price is at the moment for a for an... Un, this is a, a an unlimited, yeah? All right, it's not Shadowless. It's a standard Charizard from 99 from base set. All right, then we've got 90, a 96 Japanese. No rarity hollow. PSA 7. 10K. I don't know if these prices are accurate. This is what they want. This is what they want. Crystal Guardians, oh my goodness, this is a reverse holo, and they want 7,500. Crazy. I think I saw a holo of that before. This is pretty cool. If you guys haven't seen these, oh man, this is the uh, the Mimiku, and there's a little Pikachu in the background there. The Munch uh, Retrospective SM Promo, and I think the next one is linked with it as well. Yeah, there you go. It's the Screen Pikachu. These are really sought after um, for collectors. They're obviously, they're just really cool. So and this, this is a pristine 10, my God. Only edges didn't get a 10. That's nuts. All right, what have we got here? This is cool. Okay, I thought this was really cool. Uh, a red poker set. Nintendo playing cards. So if you've got any playing cards, guys, have a look if you've got this bad boy or any other cards within that because, uh, well, it looks like they're worth a little bit of cashola. This was really cool, the Bandai Cardass, uh, it's a Prism Mewtwo, very cool, PSA 10. I don't know if it's worth this though, guys, I I'm really not sure, um, but this is what they are wanting, very cool. We've got two more, oh, Neo Genesis. I've got my Neo Genesis um, Lugia up there, it's not first edition, came back a, a six, so I was pretty happy with that. This one's a first edition, uh, it's a PSA 9, very nice, 6K they want. And last one, the the famed hollow dragonite hollow from fossil first edition i do own this card uh, i've got the complete set of fossil in first edition um, i'm scared to grade it though i am scared to grade it if it i don't think it'd be a 10 probably a seven or an eight so i'm not sure what the price is on that but then i want i want it in the binder i want it in the binder well guys that is pretty much it that is the biggest fixed cards that i could find on the site uh, listed for this week um, and then obviously the premiere cards there was three there and there's heaps of weekly cards so uh, I hope you enjoyed that little have a, uh, that little look of the listed cards on the site this week drop me a comment if you agree or disagree with any of the prices that people have set as part of the fixed prices um, obviously the bidding is much more accurate there's you know active bidding on there and people are jumping up above each other um, 
So yeah, very interesting to see if they will actually get what they want in those fixed prices. Um, if I want to bid, the next bid is eight thousand dollars. You gotta jump up to eight k. That's crazy. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, I hope these people get what they are wanting and what they're happy to get for the cards. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Uh, this was another PWCC listings with Starman, having a look at the site and going through it. Hope you enjoyed. Drop a like and drop me a comment. Say g'day. We'll see you on the next one. Starman out. Peace.